Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 14th of 2023. Well, it is titled Perihelion Sun 2023. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our sun. And this was taken at perihelion, which occurred on January 4th this year. Now perihelion is the time when an object is closest to the sun in its orbit. In this case, it would be perihelion for Earth. So Earth has an elliptical orbit, not a circular orbit. In a circular orbit, you would always remain the same distance from an object. Orbits in general are elliptical, meaning that sometimes things are a little closer together and sometimes a little bit further away. Now here Earth would have been closest to the sun and that would have been again January the 4th. Now if that sounds a little bit strange as to how we could be closest to the sun for the northern hemisphere winter, that's because the changing distance really has nothing to do with the seasons. The seasons are caused by the fact that the earth is tilted by 23 and a half degrees. And in the winter time for whichever hemisphere you were that hemisphere is tilted away from the sun so that the sun strikes that area less directly get, does never gets as high in the sky and is up above the horizon for a shorter time in winter in the summer when the, that hemisphere is tilted toward the sun that means that the sun will be striking the ground with more direct rays and will be higher in the sky and will be up in the sky for a longer period of time. So that's actually what's causing the seasons and not the changing distance. Now here as we look at the sun we can see a very active sun our sun is becoming much more active as it comes out of a minimum of activity and starts to become more active. It does this with about an 11 year cycle in general. So every 11 years the sun will reach a peak of activity and we're coming towards that in another couple of years. So here we can see many of the dark filaments across the face of the sun as well as many of the solar prominences on the uh, outskirts of the sun uh, on the edge silhouetted against the darkness of space. And these will become more and more prominent and we will also see more solar flares that will expel material outward and sometimes coming toward Earth and giving us the aurora that we often see and have seen pictures of recently that green glow of oxygen gas actually originates with particles being expelled violently from the surface of our sun and then striking Earth's magnetic field. So we can watch over the coming next couple of years as the sun becomes more and more active we will see more of these structures on the surface of our sun as well as more aurora here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for January 14th of 2023. It was titled Perihelion Sun 2023. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Cosmic Crustacean. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.